Hi, I'm Anna Waltrades, and today is one of the most exciting days I've experienced in the last long bit because I am getting to use my metal shop and my blacksmithing shop for the first time. I get my hands dirty, they show me no mercy, so I just keep working. Today we are going to try a simple project. We're going to make a nail header and then we are going to use that nail header to make some nails, which is a very basic blacksmithing project. And before we get started, I would love to give a huge shout out to Diablo for sponsoring this channel and making it possible for me to make videos like this possible. First things first, I've got my safety gear on. I have a half inch square bar that I have created a beautiful little pineapple twist in. We're going to cut it down to length. We're going to squish it out in the forge and we are going to poke a hole in it to be a nail header. As our backup uh, option here, I've also, you know, very crudely created some little square punches in this. We're going to weld this onto here and we're going to have two options for nail heading. We'll just see how it goes. So the craziest thing about these Cermit blades is that this is still cool to the touch after I just cut this half inch bar. And also note how clean the cut is. I did get a little bit of a feather there, but it's just, I'm always amazed at how well these Cermit blades work. Now we've got our little piece. We can weld it onto the tip of this guy and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Thankfully, grinding turns me into the welder that you ain't, or whatever that saying is. My friend Jason says that if you have to grind your welds, then you suck at welding. And I'm very thankful that I have this new space because hopefully I will have the opportunity to practice enough that I no longer need to. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and grind those. Gloriously awful. Just grind those right down. We can tell by the beautiful shade of peacock in here that we're uh, heat treating this quite nicely. <laughs> Amazing! It's like it's now become one. Okay, so this certainly is not very pretty, but it's two things that I pulled out of my scrap bin. It is our first project in the welding and blacksmithing shop. I think it's gonna work just great to go ahead and head some nails. <laughs> It has been a while. Thankfully, however, we're well set up to get back into practice. So the thing about nail making is that it is a fantastic exercise. In fact, most of my friends that are professional smiths will make a few nails every day at the start of their day as just a regular practice. The funny thing about this is you get to see all of my rustiness, pun intended there, uh, come into light here because this is a process that should be done in about three minutes or one heat. And so you can see me kind of struggling to remember how I'm supposed to hold my hammer, how I should move more efficiently in my new shop. Oops. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oops. But hey, that's the greatest thing about being in a new space is that this is day one, this is project one, and I'm so excited to see what comes from here.
The funniest thing is my weld was broken. No! Ah! Okay, there we go. A nail after so little effort. Now you guys truly understand why dovetails were so important to the construction of early furniture. All right, so it's getting a little toasty in here. Very few of you have ever even seen me out of my iconic sweatshirt, but this is a forge, there's fire, it's hot. The greatest thing is that that gives me a chance to talk about my Anival Trade shirts, which you can get in the link below. You can get my iconic A, which is the Anival Trades logo. It's a hand forged, imagine that set of dividers or we also have the fluffy crew head on to my bonfire link below and you can get yours now so back to the project as you can see my nail header totally failed i clearly didn't have my welding settings right so i'm gonna go take a little look at that and fix it thankfully it's fully salvageable and we got our one little nail like i said they should take about three minutes if your equipment is uh operating correctly and if your operator is operating correctly. So let's instead shift gears a little bit and make another nail header by forging this out and punching a hole in it. I mean, it is pretty exciting to be able to make these bad boys again. We'll say this one is a little golf club shaped, which is not ideal. You really want to get the head centered over the shank of the nail, but that'll work just fine. So at this point, I'm going to take this and drill a hole in it. Back into the forge. Haha, <laughs> all right. We're gonna call that good. So, this should be fine because it's mild steel, shouldn't really matter. Also, because the handle's hot. Dip it there too. Hot, 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 all around. One thing as I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things, oh, swinging a hammer, another pun, uh, is basically just getting my movements kind of reorganized a little bit. Thinking about things so that you have you know, your glove on the right hand if you're touching something hot, that your hammer is right here ready to grab, that you have the right tongs so that you don't lose heat in your metal while you're kind of getting things all situated after you've taken it out of the forge. So in this instance, I have my cutoff in my hardy hole here, and I am ready to take this out, cut it off, use my little tongs to put it back in, and I'm gonna use, actually, let's really do this, Okay, maybe we can even do this in one heat. Let's see. a brief hour of forging we have two little nails and like I said that time is going to improve obviously as I kind of get used to the space as I have the right tools forged out and ready to go as I have my spaces better set, or set up but what is so exciting is that now between the blacksmithing shop the fabrication studio and the wood shop I now can make just about anything that I can think of. And that prospect is very, very exciting. Another huge 
Thank you to Diablo for sponsoring this video and for my channel in general so that I can make making videos like this possible. The two Diablo products that I used in the making of this video were the carbide tip Surmet steel demon blades that Diablo makes for circular saws, as well as the steel demon flap discs for my angle grinders. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and for supporting my channel in that way. If you would like to buy an Anne of All Trades t-shirt, the link for that is below. The link for my Patreon is also below. I hope you leave this video feeling challenged, inspired, and excited to get outside and to make things with your own hands as well. Cheers.